Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Sarah here at the Franklin Public Library, and today we have some activity station for you. And today's snack is going to be a pumpkin apple pop. So let's go over some ingredients that we are going to use today. You're going to need a large apple, which I have right here, but you can also have a grown up, make sure a grown up pre cuts it into <gasps> magic, a thick slice. So you want a thick slice of that apple because we're gonna be using that for our base. So have that slice. You're also going to need some yogurt and this yogurt can be whatever yogurt you guys like to eat at home. Um, it can be plain, it can be vanilla. Um, you could already buy a pumpkin flavored yogurt, um, whatever you want, whatever you have lying around in your house. Um, the next thing you're gonna need is some pumpkin puree, fresh, canned, whatever you have lying around is good. Um, you're going to need some raisins. And if you don't want to use raisins, you can use chocolate chips too. Or anything really small like that. And then you're going to need a craft stick. So make sure you have a craft stick. That's going to help make your apple pop. And then you're going to need some granola. Or you could use crushed cookies. You could use cereal um graham crackers anything like that that you have lying around your house and then to make it extra fancy you can have some maple syrup or even some honey and some pumpkin pie flavoring some pumpkin pie spice so we're gonna have some fun today making our pumpkin apple pops so you're gonna start with that thick slice of apple and you're going to stick your craft stick in one of these sides just like that and then we're going to build our apple, like this is the bottom and this is the top. Or if you wanna do it the other way, you can do it the other way, whatever works for you. But today I'm gonna to build mine like this. So make sure you have it down on your plate. And then you're gonna take your yogurt and you're going to add pumpkin to it. And you can add however, however much you like. I'm gonna start with two big spoonfuls and I'm gonna, Give it a stir, and this is gonna give that yogurt that beautiful orange coloring. So if you wanna add more pumpkin, you can add more pumpkin. And you know, if you don't have pumpkin and you don't wanna get pumpkin, you could just throw some food coloring in um, if you want. Um, I like doing the pumpkin because then you get a little bit of your veggies in here, you get your fruit with your apple. So this is a nice healthy snack. And I'm gonna add a little bit more, but look at how beautiful that looks. That looks a very beautiful shade of orange. But if you use food coloring, it will probably get a lot oranger. Orangier or oranger? Oranger, we'll go with oranger. More orange, it'll look more orange. Okay, so we have the base of our pumpkin, our pumpkin yogurt right here. And then I'm on it fancy. So we're going to add in a little bit of maple syrup to flavor it. Again, if your yogurt's already flavored, you don't really have to, but mine's plain. And you just need a little bit. Ooh, that's, that's a lot. That was a lot of it, so not that much. And then we're gonna throw in some pumpkin pie spice. You could also use cinnamon. Um, I mean, if you got apple pie spice, you could throw in some of that. Um, whatever you want, or you don't have to add anything and you can just leave it as it is. So stir it all together, combine it. And this also just makes a really great yogurt that you can just eat, just dip some apples in it and it tastes delicious. I do this all the time. So that is a very beautiful yogurt dip. So now we're going to build our pumpkin apple pop. So you have your apple and we're going to put some of that beautiful pumpkin yogurt Whoops, I missed, right on top. And you're just gonna spread it around on your pumpkin. And now your pumpkin's orange. Now your pumpkin's orange, so cool. And then we're going to use those raisins to stick on some eyes, because you're gonna make it into a little jack-o-lantern. So you got an eye there. Right here. 
So you got the eyes on, and then you're gonna use the raisins to make a mouth. So you're just gonna stick those raisins on, or chocolate chips, or a combo of both. There he is, and then he's got a little mouth. So cute. And then next, you're gonna use that granola to order cookies, whatever you have. Ooh, animal crackers would be good too. Um, and just kind of put it on the bottom like it's the ground of the pumpkin, like the pumpkin sitting on the ground. So we're just gonna sprinkle that on. And then if you want to, you could put like a raisin for like a stem on top. Um, or you could even put some granola in for a stem on top. I think I'll use a raisin. So you got a little stem where your stick is like the stem right there. But then there you have it. It's a super easy snack. And if you want to like let it set, you could put it in the fridge, let the yogurt get a little harder, pop it in the freezer if you want. And then you have a very delicious pumpkin apple pop. And it's really healthy too. So thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed your treat and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.